Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of uh, things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. Uh, hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I had a two minute window to talk before I hopped on the train. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about is moving forward and living as uh, someone with a disability. So one thing I've noticed is that whenever I've outgrown something or seem to move forward in my life, I've noticed that at one point whenever I have special services those people are happy and they're nice and they're glad to see you and they'll talk sweet with you and they'll even encourage you like oh yeah that's great uh, I'm proud of you for going to college and then when I appear to uh, outgrow their need that's when they start to turn nasty and that's when they start to do whatever they can to keep you because for some people that's an income or for some people that's a paycheck or other people like your caregivers or your parents they don't know how to let go like my aunt she learned I had a disability and she just got into her routine because she herself was on the spectrum and she also had a very controlling personality as well but it was very hard for her to move forward and hard for her to let me go in fact at the end of our relationship she got mad and that's why we had a falling out now when I worked at that warehouse I've talked about on an umpteen number of times and if you check out the video why I don't have any skills it will give you a broader depth of what I'm talking about but I had a job coach uh, that just didn't want to let me go and she was always promoting uh, well if you do this you can do that and you can do so much but you need to start at the bottom well when I started moving off into college and I started to do more things with my life and wanting to uh, move on and find a job where I could build up my skills she didn't want to let me go she wanted to continue to keep me down and she wanted to continue to uh, prevent me from moving up or forward in my life in fact she wanted me to stay on social security and she wanted me to stay down in this dinky little warehouse with these closed-minded people because she was frustrated that I was moving forward and she didn't want me to because to her that was a paycheck and I think people like that are just really controlling and really negative. So keep that in mind. But anyway, I'm out of time now. The three minute window is over. The train's just about here. Um, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer. I'm sorry, Maya Ryan. And I'm signing off. Bye.